So with respect to uh, which case is this, Ms. Stevenson, that you told me they're cross complainants on the cross complainants? Yes, Your Honor, that would be Dominique Johnson and Tanika Layfield. Oh, so actually, so what I'll do is I'm going to send Johnson. Okay, so I'll send Johnson since Johnson already has a different uh, defense attorney. I'll send Johnson to to Judge Garrett. Uh, so Chief okay. McConnell says that when we have the cross complainants, um, then uh, we're going to just always bifurcate the case and send one next, I mean, you know, switch off. So and send one next door. Okay. And let the general warrants prosecutor over there do it. Okay. Um, all right. So that's funny. Miss Stevenson, uh, uh, Judge Garrett was sharing with me a, a case that came up while I was out, out that, <laughs> where he, he figured out that he was actually a witness or something. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'll share with you at a later date the location of the incident and why, you know, it's kind of a notorious spot. So Oh, okay. Well, he that's was funny like, on he said, a lot of levels. Said, he was looking at it and, was, and said, this sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh, and then he looked up and was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I, I think I might be on the prosecutor's witness list, but that's funny. Insight into or the Or on Garrett. somebody's witness list. Look, on one of the <laughs> Right. Okay. Uh, Miss Adams, you can start your camera. Okay, I'm missing somebody. Hold on. Edwards. Oh, I'm missing Edwards. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Miss Adams, certainly you're not in the bed, are you, ma'am? Do I got to get out the bed? For, I'm about to get well, out I'm going to let you answer that question no, for me. Do you I'm think you, the bed. you need to get out the bed. the bed for court? Don't raise your hand up to me like you stopping me from talking like I'm some no, child. Yes, I, get out of the bed. Get out of the bed for court. It seems like to me that would be a no-brainer. But, but yes, let's get out of the bed for court. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this case. This is case number, and I need everyone to remain muted unless you are asked to unmute by the court. This is case number <clears throat> 22445 9501, the people of the state of Michigan versus Zaki Edwards, and 02, the people of the state of Michigan versus Amija Young, Amija Young. The defendants are each charged with one count of assault or assault and battery. And today is, I need everyone to be stationary, seated in an upright position and ready to attend court. And Mr. Henderson, if your witness is not able to be stationary, seated in an upright position, um, she's not going to be able to attend court today. Okay. All right. The defendants are charged with assault or assault and battery, and today is the date set for a final pretrial conference. Appearances, please. Philip Henderson on behalf of the people, P86029. And can your witness identify herself, please? Ms. Adams, can you unmute and state your name, please? I'm Janae Adams. And for the record, Your Honor, Janice Stevenson appearing on behalf of Ms. Zaki Edwards. Ms. Edwards, ma'am, please unmute and say your full name. Zaki Edwards. 
Good morning, Your Honor. Ashley Duplessis, P82896. On behalf of Ms. Young, we're both appearing by Zoom and waiving our right to an in-person appearance. Ms. Young, can you unmute and state your full name for the record, please? Amisha Young. All right, thank you. Today is the date set for um, a final pretrial conference. And uh, the matter is currently scheduled for a jury trial on January 23rd, and it is the first case in priority. On behalf of Ms. Edwards, how are we proceeding? Ms. Edwards will continue her plea of not guilty, Your Honor, and ask that this matter proceed to jury trial January 23rd, 2024. And as to Ms. Uh, Young, how are we proceeding? Your Honor, Ms. Young will also continue her not guilty plea and we are prepared for trial. Then the court will continue not guilty pleas on behalf of both defendants. Set And the matter will continue to the jury trial that is scheduled for January the 23rd. 2024 at 10.30 a.m. in person at 36th District Court. Um, that will, we will begin jury selection um, at 10.30, well, at, as close to 10.30 as I can. Are there any issues? I know, Mr. Henderson, you're not the, the trial prosecutor, um, but are you aware of any issues that the court needs to address for this jury trial? Uh, on behalf of the people? I'm not at this time, Your Honor. I did speak with Ms. Adams and she does wish to proceed further. So we anticipate, you know, short of a plea that this will be a jury trial. So. Okay. And are there any issues on behalf of either defendant with respect to the jury trial? Nothing on behalf of Ms. Edwards, Your Honor. Nothing on behalf of Ms. Young, but I would like to confirm that Ms. Ritter will be the APA handling the case. So yes. Send the documents. Okay, thank you. Yes. Um, additionally, <clears throat> um, just so that you're aware, so we do have two defendants. Uh, both defendants will have the same jury. Okay, so it's not, we're not, both defendants will have the same jury. Um, and then, of course, because there are two defendants, then the prosecutor's peremptories will double. So they will get equal peremptories um, for both defendants. And then Mr. Flanagan, yes, uh, I don't know the person who has replaced Mr. Navin. So I don't know who's operating in Mr. Navin's position, however, can you let them know that I need extra jurors um, subpoenaed for January 23rd because this is a two defendant case and I'm probably going to seat um, at least eight to eight or nine and potentially 10 uh, jurors. So I'll, I'll probably seat 10 so that we can have four uh, extra um, jurors and uh, four alternate jurors and um so if they could double their request since i have two defendants can they double the request of how many they normally would subpoena yes ma'am i made a note i'll get in contact with jury services okay all right and there are no special jury instructions. This is a, a standard uh, assault and battery um, jury instruction case, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. On behalf of Ms. Edwards. All right. So I'll I'll go through my instructions because one that I know I don't standardly keep in my book might actually be, there's a jury instruction about two defendants or something, or I, I'll have to look at it and think. But um Okay, then I, I think we're all set until January the 24th at 10.30 a.m. at 36 District Court. Mm -hmm. And everyone, make sure you come appropriately dressed for court. Oh, appropriately I'll... dressed for court. Business casual attire. Yes. Appropriately dressed for court. Down. All right, then we're all set. Everyone, have a great day. Happy holidays. Stay, stay safe.
Happy you too. Office. See you and your staff. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Okay, then I'm ready on uh, Mathis. This is case number 22449-9601, the people of the state of Michigan versus Michael Mathis. Defendant is charged with one count of assault or assault and battery. Today is the date set for sentencing. Appearances, please. Philip Henderson on behalf of the people, P86029. And for the record, Your Honor, Janice Stevenson appearing on behalf of Mr. Michael Mathis. Good morning, Mr. Mathis, sir. Um, when they unmute you, please tell the judge your full name. We need you to be unmuted. Oh, there we go. My name is Michael Easton Mathis. Thank you. Today is a day set for sentencing. And um, this matter does not have a pre-sentence investigation. And I don't know if I do. If I took the plea for Mr. Mathis, um, I don't think I did because I would have set it at 8.59 if I didn't order a pre-sentence investigation. So uh, do we have any information, Ms. Stevenson, as to how long Mr. Mathis is, is expected to be in custody? Um, I don't have an answer to that, Your Honor, but we would the plea agreement, according to the information I have, was that he be sentenced to credit for time served. Um, so we would ask that, that he be sentenced to not, well, I don't know, 45 days in the Wayne County Jail, give him credit for 45 days served and the matter be closed. I believe today would have been um, scheduled to give the complaining witness an opportunity to be president sentencing. And I don't believe there's a complainant here, Your Honor. Mr. Henderson? There is not a complainant um, here today, and um, so we would um, agree to abide by the previously um, entered into plea agreement. Uh, deputy, is there a deputy around? Good morning, Deputy. Hi, Judge. Good morning. Um, Deputy, do you know how long Mr. Mathis has been um, in the Wayne County Jail? Judge, I don't know offhand, but if you give me one moment, I can verify it. Okay, can you verify that for me, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, the court will note while I'm waiting on the deputy to verify the amount of time that Mr. Mathis has been in the custody of the Wayne County Jail, that there are only three individuals in my waiting room and they are all defendants. Um, there is an individual in the courtroom, but it is also, that person is also a defendant. So the court does not believe that the complaining witness has appeared to make any um, victim impact statement today. Uh, I will, I suppose, honor the uh, plea agreement, but I just want to make sure of what, how, oh, how much time he has already served. Yes, Deputy? Uh, Judge, May 26th of this year is when he was booked in. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So clearly, Mr. Um, Mathis has already served over the maximum penalty for this offense. Um, therefore, the court is going to sentence Mr. Mathis um, with respect to this matter to 93 days in the Wayne County Jail, and I will give him credit for 93 days served. And the court will close this matter out um, with improvement. Mr. Mathis, you're all set with respect to this particular case, okay, sir? Okay. All right. Have a great day. Um, despite where you are, stay safe. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. All right. And then I'm ready on Robertson. And then, um, uh, Miss Miss Hall, what's this? Was were you able to speak with Mr. Williams? I I do see the note that he's on the mental health floor. I was able to speak with him. Okay. He is currently um, in pain. He believes he has a, a torn rotator cuff, but we were still able to speak. 
Oh, okay. So he's scheduled for um, a pretrial. Were you just going to get another date? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, then let's go ahead and do Mr. Uh, Williams so he can go and- Well, actually, oh. no, I wasn't just going to get another date, no. Oh. Not oh. Only. Let me see so Able to, to actually handle his case today. Oh, okay, well then hold on. Um, so Ms. Stevenson, who's doing Robertson, Robertson? I am, Your Honor. Okay. Oh, but Mr. Henderson is needed on that phone call, correct, Ms. Stevenson? Yes, Your Honor. Um, okay. I mean, I can set it up and he can just put us on hold until he's ready to come over. Yeah, do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Mr. Robertson, are you going to come on screen? Can you come on screen for me? Okay, there you go. So I'm going to do Robertson and then I'll Robert, do... Is I'm sorry, um, it's Jeremy Robertson. Robertson. Okay, hold on, sir. Don't. That's fine. You're going to get a chance to tell your name, but don't don't interrupt me. You just wait. Okay. I'm ready uh, on case number 19455 Sir, turn on your camera. I'm ready on case number one nine four four. I strike that four five five nine four zero one. The people of the state of Michigan versus Jeremy Robertson. The defendant is charged with one count of animals abandoning cruelty to one animal. Today is the date set for a pretrial conference. Appearances, please. Philip Henderson on behalf of the people. P eight six zero two nine. Rikidia Hall on behalf of Mr. Robertson. P number eight two nine five four. Mr. Robertson, may you unmute yourself and state your full name for the record. Jeremy Robertson. Today is a day set for a pretrial conference. How are we proceeding? Your Honor, we would like to set this matter for a final pretrial and also request discovery. All right, the court is going to continue a not guilty plea on behalf of Mr. Robert's son and set the matter for a final pretrial conference. The court is going to set the final pretrial conference for February the 8th. At nine o'clock a.m., please stop raising your hand. Discovery should be submitted to defense by January the 8th. Bond will continue. And Ms. Hall, your client has something he needs to address with you. I'm going to send him back. Maybe I, maybe I didn't say it. Please stop raising your hand. I don't know. Maybe I didn't say it, and I just I'm, thought. I'm sorry. I do mind. apologize, but it is two court dates in one day. I was trying to inform you of that. That's all. What 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 we're going to learn in this court courtroom three three nine. It's a couple of things. We're not going to speak unless we are acknowledged to do so by the court. When I say that I'm going to send someone back to the breakout room so they can talk to their lawyer, then that's probably what I mean. That, that's, that's probably exactly what I mean. And that every day that I show up, I'm going to be in charge of this courtroom every day. 
Ms. Hall, your client has something to tell you in a breakout room. So I'm going to send your client back to a breakout room so that he can tell you what he needs to tell you. And then you're going to decide if it's appropriate for it to be told to me. Yes. Ma Additionally, there is a person in breakout room number six without a plus sign, Miss Williams. So I'm going to need Miss Williams to also be addressed. So I'm going to move Mr. Robert's son to breakout room number four. 